Hello, this is Tim Sanchez from Payroll Hero. I'm here to help you generate your payroll. So before generating payroll, there are two things you need to remember. One, check to see if the attendance issues for the pay period or cutoff has been resolved and published. So you don't want to want to see any red um, attendance issues here. What your target is all green published to payroll attendance. Um, so the second thing that you would need to remember is ensure that any special payments have been added um, on the employee profiles under the payments tab. The payments can be adjustments from the previous payroll, government deductions like uh, withholding BIR tax, SSS, PhilHealth, Pag-ibig, and then other than that, also double check if the employee has loans bonuses, or any one-time allowances. So, how to generate payroll? There are two ways. One, generate payroll under the employee list tab. So, if you would like to generate all employees at the same time, you can do it there. Two, under a specific employee profile, click on the payroll tab. If you use this option, this is one way to edit a specific employee's payroll. So on the employee list, you can select as many employees as you want. Um, you could also select um, which pay period from which you would like to generate payroll. After generating payroll, you could either notify the employees via email saying that the pay stub is ready, um, lock, the pay stub, meaning that um, the employees would see um, their pay slips or pay stubs. Um, and then uh, you could either um, export the payroll report so that um, you could transfer it or move it to the finance or accounting team. And then lastly, you could either um, generate the government reports, which is PhilHealth, SSS, Pagibig monthly remittance reports. And that's it. That's how easy it is to generate payroll. Thanks to Payroll Hero.